If you are shopping for an infant car seat, this is the video to watch because I'm going to be going through the best infant car seats of 2022. I have been helping customers shop for infant car seats for almost 20 years, and I have three children myself, and I know how confusing and stressful shopping for an infant car seat could be because it's a safety product for your child. Will it be compatible with my stroller? There's all these questions about them, and I am going to break it all down for you in this video and review the best infant car seats. If you're just meeting me, my name is Ellie. I own a company called Magic Beans. It is the best baby store anywhere on the planet. It's pretty amazing. The website's mbeans.com. Um, we ship all infant car seats for free, um, so just so you know that. And I have also have the most comprehensive reviews on YouTube. So um, after this video, definitely watch more videos because this is where you will find the latest information all, on all car seats and strollers and baby gears and all products like that. Infant car seats of 2022, starting with the Nuna Pippa Light RX. So Nuna Pippa is this category of car seat is the most popular infant car seat that we sell at Magic Beans, and there are a number of reasons why. Number one, Nuna car seats are super safe. They're very easy to install, and they're also extremely light. So this particular one, the Nuna Pippa Light RX, is the most fully featured of all of the Nuna Pippa car seats. I will put a link below to a very popular video that I did comparing the six different numbers, the six different Nuna Pippa car seats. So I will go through, there's a Nuna Pippa, RX, L, Light LX, Light, oh no, lots of crazy things. Go to the video below, link below, and watch that after this video, but this is the most souped up version of it. So number one, it is a light car seat. It's only 6.9 pounds. That's really, really light. And the thing that makes it light is that there is something called EPP foam lining the base of the car seat, which makes it super flexible, super light. Um, there is a non-rethread harness. Now, what's a non-rethread harness? That's a good question. The first thing you need to know is, when you're rear-facing in a car, so infant car seats are all rear-facing, like the car seat's gonna be facing the back of the seat, you want the straps to be at the shoulders and below, just a little bit below the back of the shoulders, not from coming down from above. And as your child gets bigger, the straps are gonna to need to be adjusted and with a non-rethread harness, you can easily adjust the straps versus having to like unthread and rethread. And some of the other infant car seats that are on the market, um, you do have to do the unthreading and rethreading thing, but this particular version of the Pippa is the only one of the six Pippas that has that non-rethread harness. Um, and it also has something called uh, European belt routing. So another thing about infant car seats is, and this is important that you should know, and this is not something that a lot of parents don't know, and how should you know? You never had a baby before. You, you never, many of you have never had a baby before. There, let me tell you, there's no reason why you should have known any of this stuff, and I'm here to help you, don't worry, okay. So um, infant car seats come in two pieces. They come with a car seat and they come with a base. The base is the piece that gets installed into the car and the infant car seat is the thing that you take around with you. So you can like buckle your baby in inside your home, walk around with them, click it into your car seat, I'm sorry, click it into your stroller. And then when you get to your car, you click it into the base. And, um, so you can buy additional bases, like this one is called uh, a Nuna Relax Base. You'll, this will come with your Nuna car seat, but you can buy another one if you have a second car or if a grandparent drives the child around on a regular basis. And another thing to look at, look at when you are shopping for infant car seats is how easy it installs. Now, over 85%, the, a statistic that changes from time to time, but about 85% of infant car seats are, of car seats are installed incorrectly. So the reason why you'd wanna get one of these, and I will fully admit these are like um, the car seats in these videos are very, are premium car seats um, because they are easier to install and the car seat's only as safe as it, how, how well it is installed and how it fits into the car. So uh, by getting one of these guys, you will know it's installed properly. So at, down here, this is something called rigid latch. It kind of looks like a stapler. There's a little, like, and in the back of your car, there are these little um, steel anchors. So it's really, in the back of your car right now, there are steel anchors. Go to the back of the seat of your car right now, you can see. Put your hand in the bottom of the seat, you'll see that there are these little steel anchors. And those are there to attach your car seat to your car. Okay, all you have to do is, and you 
click it in and you are good to go. So that is now installed properly. Um, and which is um, not necessarily so common for all car seats. Some, uh, some car seats are more challenging to install. And, um, and LATCH is a acronym. It stands for Lower Anchor and Tether for Children. So look for LATCH connectors on your car seat. And um, the future um, comparison, uh, the future products that I show will go a lot quicker than this one. Just so you know, I do full reviews of all of these car seats in, on the channel. So after this video, you can watch the full reviews, but these are just sort of like synopses of these different car seats. Next car seat is Kleck Ling with two eyes. It's Kleck Ling, it's made in Canada. Kleck is a great Canadian brand, makes super, super safe car seats. And there are some similarities with this from the Pippa that I showed previously, and there's some differences. Okay, uh, number one is that there is a, uh, there are not a, not a, not a non-rethread harness. So you have to sort of un, unfasten the, um, the, the harnesses as the child gets bigger, um, but there are some safety features that are really cool. Now, I didn't show this in the past with the Pippa, but there's something called a load leg. There's also a load leg with your Ling. That normally gets stored underneath here, so if you are, I sometimes get emails from customers, my car seat doesn't come with a load leg, uh, you just look underneath your base and you will find that there is a load leg. You can adjust that and um, have that go down to the uh, the base of your car. Now there's also rigid latch on your Ling, but it works a little bit differently. Um, this has, um, this latch goes all the way through the base of the car. So there's steel running through the entire base. And so that's just gonna add to an extra layer of protection and security. Pull this open as well, and it clicks in. Really, really easy, load leg down to the ground, and then what you do is you push this in so it's away from the passenger or driver's seat. So that's really cool, really, really secure. So the load leg, let's talk about that for a second. So when you're in a crash, I'll put the car seat back on. Um, when you are in a crash, God forbid, what happens is the load leg sort of slows down the rotation of the car seat. And it's sort of like the car seat will move this direction. And since this is um, part of the base, it's going to stop the car seat from moving in this direction, which is just going to make it safer. Oh, one other thing. I was almost mentioning this before, is that these have European belt routing. What does that mean? So even though these bases are really awesome for I'm installing in your car, you can, if you're on the go, in an airplane, in a taxi, in an Uber, you can install this car seat and the Nuna Pippa Lite RX in, the, in one of those car seats. Um, so you have this little blue, let me show you. Again, this is not an installation video, this is a demonstration video. Um, so basically what you do is you take your seatbelt and you're literally taking the seatbelt and putting it onto the base of the car or the taxi or whatever it might be. And then you take your seatbelt and there's this very um, generous routing side sort of notches that you could put this thing through. And then what you do is you take your seatbelt and you put it around the back of the car seat and there's this blue place that you could put the seatbelt through and it is going to keep your child secure and then you change over the, the seat belt and you are good to go. So this is how you put the car seat in without the base. Again, check out your local C CPST, um, your uh, um, sorry, child passenger safety technician near you to get a full demonstration on how to properly install all of your car seats. That's a great thing to do, but I just wanted you to know this for your general knowledge. The Agio Lounge, um, I love the Agio Lounge. It's a gorgeous car seat, just visually, it's really, really beautifully, but it's also made in Italy. So this is made in artisan factories in Italy uh, by a family owned business, which is really cool. So it's very high quality. They take so much pride in the craftsmanship, what they put into their car seats. You'll notice that there is something called a anti-rebound bar on this as well. So not only does it have a load leg like the Pippa LiDAR X did and the Kleck Ling did, but it also has an anti-rebound bar again, more security, more 
um, re reduction of the rotation of car seat in the car, which is really cool. Um, you can also um, you can also install this out of the base, but the thing that makes the lounge really cool, which is kind of unique, is um, then when you click this into a stroller, you have the ability to recline it. It has a recline mechanism. Now you can't recline it in the base. There are rules of how much position your child can be when they are in the actual car, but when, you're, when it's clicked into a stroller, what you can do is you can recline the car seat. It's not recommended that you take your child around in your infant car seat for long periods of time. We want them to be lying flat as their neck muscles are developing. But the nice thing about the Agio Lounge is that you can have this recline feature um, as part of it. Okay, um, I now have the Bugaboo Turtle Air by Nuna. Um, love the Bugaboo Turtle Air by Nuna. Guess what? It is a very, very similar car seat to the Nuna Pippa Light RX that I showed you uh, previously, but the difference is, a main difference is that it only works with Bugaboo car seats. Let's talk about car seat compatibility for a second. Um, the most popular way in America that people buy car seats are something called a travel system. A travel system is a car seat and a stroller that match beautifully together as one. So this a travel system would be a Bugaboo Turtle Air with say a Bugaboo Fox 3. They work perfectly together, they're the same brand, they work with each other. Let's say you have like a Baby Zen yo-yo stroller and you wanna click in a car seat. Baby Zen doesn't make a car seat. So what do you do? There are things called car seat adapters. So car seat adapters enable you to add a car seat brand with a different type of stroller. So you'll see that there are things called Maxi Cozy adapters. I'm getting nerdy here for a second, but this is really gonna help you. Listen, so Maxi Cozies are what in Europe, they call infant car seats. Oh, do you have your Maxi Cozy? It's kind of like Kleenex and tissues. So um, Maxi Cozy adapters means basically an infant car seat adapter. And uh, Maxi Cozy is actually a brand of car seats. I won't go into it, they're different in Europe than they are in America. We don't sell Maxi Cozy car seats, but that's, a, that's for another time. But you can, but basically what I want to tell you is that many of the car seats that I'm showing you today can work with different brands of car seats. I'm about to show you some Uppa Baby Mesa products, which work perfectly with Uppa Baby strollers, but you could use, say, a Nuna product with a Uppa Baby stroller using a car seat adapter. I hope that was helpful. If you want your own rundown of, I'm about to show you the Mesa stuff, but if you want your own rundown of um, how this all works together, book a consultation with one of our experts at mbeans.com slash consultations. Now let me show you the Duna, and then I'll show you some Uppa Baby products. So here's a super unique infant car seat. It is the Duna uh, the Duna is a infant car seat that turns into a stroller. That's right. So what you do is you remove the Duna from the base, you pull out the little white thing on the back, and then it turns into a stroller. Um, the installation of it is a pretty traditional installation with a uh, normal latch, but the magic of this product is in the fact that it turns into a stroller. It's also really, really safe. I'll transform it back into a stroller and back into a car seat. Um, these sidebars also like extra, extra, add some, to some extra side impact protection, which is really important. Like every other infant car seat in this video, I do full reviews of the Duna on the channel. Check it out. I'll put the link below. But now let's talk about the Uppa Baby Mesa V2 and the Uppa Baby Mesa Max. These are two new infant car seats that are going to be coming out in the middle of, middle toward the end of 2022. It's May 2022 right now, just so you know. And um, I have done some reviews of the Mesas previously. So let's start with the Uppa Baby Mesa V2. They have an extended canopy. They now have European belt path on it. And I did a review of this at the Upper Baby Hub in Boston a couple of months ago, so I'm going to show you a quick snippet of that review right now. I'm here at the Upper Baby Hub Service Center in Boston, I'm filming live on set. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm excited about showing you this full review of the Upper Baby Mesa V2. It works compatibly with no adapter with an Upper Baby Vista or an Upper Baby Cruise, and with adapters with an Upper Baby Menu and an Upper Baby Ridge running stroller. So the Mesa, let's just talk the basics of this. Um, we have to start by talking about the smart secure system. This is their 
insulation system, which is super, super easy to install. There is no load leg on it, but there is this really cool retracting system. You push these orange buttons and you push in one side, you push the orange button, push in the other side, and then you push in and there's a little window that goes from red to green so you know it's installed safely. And then you just pop in your Mesa. That's really cool. Now, for the V2 variety of this, something that is, um, they, we've been asking for for a while is they input a, a European belt routing on the back. So you've always been able to install the Mesa without the base, but now they have this little like slot on the back that you can use to install your Mesa without the base. Okay, other things about the V2 variety of the Mesa. Um, the exterior parts that uh, is on your body, uh, on your baby's body uh, are flame, flame retardant free, cool. Um, they also have a more generous headrest on this. Now there is a non-rethread harness on the Mesa. They've always had a non-rethread harness. They still have a non-rethread harness. All you have to do is look behind here and there's a little tab. You just pull the tab and it goes down and up really, really easily. They have made a, a more comfortable uh, infant insert for better baby positioning. Um, and also the canopy is 20% bigger. So more sun protection, it used to go to here, now it goes to here, so there's no like zipper, but it does extend much further. So there are five colors of the Mesa V2, um, and while I'm here, let me show them to you. Well, what an advantage of being here. Um, this is the Alice color, it's this sort of like pale pink. We have the Stella, which is this light gray. Jake, which is all black, and they also have the Grayson, which is their merino wool gray, um, flame retardant free seat. And I don't have uh, pictured here is the Gregory, which is their blue. And the last infant car seat I wanna talk about is the Uppa Baby Mesa Max. Now this is a Mesa Max with an extra big canopy and a load leg, yay! It now has a load leg. And I had the opportunity to do a sneak peek review of the Uppa Baby Mesa Max at the ABC Kids Expo in Las Vegas just a couple of weeks ago, and I am going to put a link to that video right below, and I recommend that you watch that video right now. I will see you there.